I had a vision of you again last night. I saw you walking by a lake. A woman rose from it and reached for you. I tried to yell to you, Beware, Rusalka! But you could not hear. Yet you kneeled beside the lake and spoke and laughed with her. I was amazed, for even the things of the dead can call you friend. I do not know the meaning of this. I only know that I dreamt true. You are a most remarkable man. Ah, I am well and happy to see you again, my friend. I have run in this forest for many years, and I know my way around. The forest is a very different place at night. It is a very dangerous place to travel if you are not a wolf. Ah, the one who danced with you upon your last visit? The one who is lovely, lively, and, uh, <laughs> more than a handful? She is my mate, and we wolves mate for life. Last night we were hunting far to the south. I heard a voice call out a command. Bushes here, disappear! The voice had the fur on the nape of my neck up on end, so I did not investigate further. <sighs> Hunting in Mordavia is always an interesting experience. The Rusalka of the lake near here has been dead for many, many years. Our legends tell of the... Then you must take this at the la... I have always had dreams and visions. Some of these are true events. Some are only what could be true. These visions are, like most dreams, clouded in mists. Their meanings, too, are very shadowy. If you wish to learn of your future, allow me to look into the cards. You have only to give me a crown, and I will give you a reading, huh? I am the leader of this pack, and I wish I could lead them from this valley. I have had troubled dreams of late, and the game is getting scarce in this area. Many are the kinds of the dead which do not rest. Some are harmless, some most helpful, but most are extremely dangerous. Some, like the Rusalki, are victims of crime. Others, like the Ray, are the spirits of criminals who cannot rest. But most powerful and fearsome of all are the Nosferatu, the vampires. The Rusalki are the spirits of drowned maidens. Some are the victims of accidents and others were the victims of murderers. They retain their physical bodies and try to drown all who approach them. There is said to be a Rusalka in the lake to the east. I have heard tales that a Rusalka may be tamed through kindness, but I have never heard of anyone actually trying such a thing. Oh no! A wraith is a spirit who cannot rest because of greed. They refuse to leave behind their possessions and so haunt the sight of those objects. If you travel by night, you sometimes can see a mound of rocks where no rocks were by daylight. This is the burial mound of a wraith. Avoid it, for the wraith will try to draw the life from you if you get too close. The Nosferatu. The undead, which feed upon the blood of living things. If a man is drained unto death by a vampire, he will rise from his grave as a revenant, hungering for the taste of human flesh. If a vampire shares its own blood with its victim, the victim will rise from the grave as a slave of its vampire creator. It too will be a vampire but it must obey the commands of its master and cannot harm its master directly. 
Sometimes the share of vampire blood is not drained entirely by the master vampire. Thus, he can continue to live until struck down by a natural death. Then he will rise from his grave. The old rulers of this land, the boyars of the castle, were the Borgo family. They ruled this land for as long as my people remember. The last boyar was a strange man, so it is said. What became of him, I do not know. Only that his son left the valley in shame and horror. When we heard rumors that Borgov Castle was again inhabited, we brought our wagons to Mordavia. We thought perhaps the old boyar's son had returned, and we could trade with him again. We met with the gatekeeper, who said that the Borgov family was dead. Oh, the castle was now owned by a distant cousin who promised to protect this valley as a true boyar. So we did some trading with the gatekeeper, but never saw signs of this Borgov cousin. Soon after this, the rain started to fall, and we were trapped here. The cards have spoken, and that is all I will say about them now. If you wish to learn more, come another time. You tell about some of your adventures. Ah, you tell strange stories, but I can sense that you speak true. You have lived the most exciting life. I do not think this valley will be the same when you leave. You say goodbye. May the wind be in your face and the hunting good. This is no place to do a barrel roll. The tree doesn't look particularly climbable. Don't ash for trouble. The box populi suggests that opening the box might be a bad idea. <laughs> Lishy Lishy, riddle's done. Thank you much for all the fun. <laughs> You have a strange, disquieting f Hello. Have you learned anything while you were gone? To tell the Rosalka her true name. Elisa. Yes, that was my name. 
I'm starting to remember things now. I was going to be married. My fiancé and I came down to the lake for an evening swim. We were skinny dipping, actually. And then he wanted to, well, you know, but I wouldn't. So he drowned me. He always did have a low frustration point. That's how I became a Rosalta. So what else did you learn about healing me? I am kind of curious. You're going to sweep the grave of my fiancé with my hair in a broom? Won't that make him mad or something? Uh, you, you'd better be careful. He had a nasty temper, remember? I'm kind of frightened. I've been undead so long, I don't know what it's like to be really dead. I guess I'm going to find out. You want some of my hair? Sure. Here, I've got plenty of it. How do you think I'd look with short hair? You know, I can't even remember the jerk's name. Just as well we didn't get married. I guess I've been skinny dipping ever since. Care to join me? You've always thought long hair would look good on you. Unfortunately, there really isn't enough here to make a proper toupee. Please, be careful. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you because you're trying to help me, you know. The decayed remains of a human arm claw at you as if to drag you down to share its doom. You see a tree whose branches are clumped with moss and fungi. A variety of slimy toadstools surround the base. You can see some of the ground around the base of these reeds. You are surrounded by the mist and miasma of a swamp which stretches endlessly in all directions around you. You are surrounded. You sense terrible danger here. There is a great evil about this place. The standing stone looks like a crude, oversized tombstone. It is an inset six-pointed star figure, similar to the one on the monastery door. The points are slightly curved, like the arms of a starfish. Arcane symbols label each point of the star. The featureless swamp is broken here by the tall stone obelisk to the south. It looks like a grave marker. It's a chinovi! One of the dread wizards of the Dark One. 